Well, Michigan's rookie governor has presented his first state budget to lawmakers, and his $45 billion plan means cuts in a number of areas. Governor Rick Snyder has proposed spending cuts to schools, universities, and local governments. It also calls for the end of many personal tax breaks. The governor says the cuts are necessary to streamline state government. Snyder says the budget he is proposing will yield results as opposed to previous budgets that, in his words, would only ensure that bureaucracy remains intact. This budget was about line items. And what do line items do? They help assure potentially a special interest is going to get X amount of dollars. It helps ensure that a bureaucracy potentially keeps going and doesn't allow good management practice. So, what do lawmakers think of the governor's spending cut proposal? Why don't we ask one? State Senator John Prose is here this morning to break it down. Welcome. Good morning. First and foremost, what do you think of the governor's spending cut so far, did they go too far, not far enough? Well, the governor first off had to look at a $1.5 billion hole out of the entire $44, $45 billion budget. I, there really isn't any place to go other than to ask more from our taxpayers in terms of paying more, more from business taxes if we wanted to be able to close that gap by increasing taxes. The governor insisted that that isn't the best path. I don't think it's the best path for us to grow jobs in Michigan. We've led the nation, Tricia, in all of the wrong categories unemployment, high tax state, uh, very difficult to do business, bad regulatory environment. We need to make sure that we flip that upside down and say we're leading the nation in all the right categories, a lower unemployment rate, a great place to do business, and then ultimately those revenues of the state are going to increase all over the place. But some of the cuts are pretty controversial. The governor sure. talked about closing down a prison. That's right. Eliminating some Michigan State police posts. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are concerned about their safety with that one. What are your thoughts of the, that part of the proposal? I serve on both the appropriations process mm -hmm. as well on that particular budget process, and then I also serve on the uh, tax policy or finance committee in the Senate. So the two areas that are uh, going to be critical in this process and this debate that we have moving forward. What's interesting on the, on the correction side of things, and I serve as the chairman of that particular budget in the Senate, he looked at public safety and said, how can we make sure that we keep public safety whole and intact as best we possibly can. He focused in, on, for, for example, Michigan State Police, on people on the road, Michigan State Police troopers on the road as opposed to buildings. So they're talking about shutting down one particular facility and reapplying the troops in a better way. Uh, as it relates to closing a prison facility, we've dropped our prison population to 1998 levels. We have decreased the number of facilities that we have, and if we can save more money so that we can invest it in other areas, such as higher education, then we would be doing a much better job of that. But ultimately, here's the question that I have as the chairman of that budget. We've decreased population, shut down facilities, and yet our costs have gone up. We hmm. have to change that equation and really reset the clock in Michigan. Well, that is a, a controversial subject. It's also sensitive, but even perhaps more sensitive schools and school cuts. Absolutely. Other states that are trying to implement deep cuts to schools are getting quite a backlash. And in fact, if you watch the news with what's going on in Wisconsin right now, the legislation has come to a screeching halt. Yes. Are you worried that this is going to happen in Michigan? There are a lot of angry people. They can't take much more sure. when it comes to cuts to education. I think that we've had um, a significant investment in education all along. And this governor looks at it and says, if, if we're looking at our taxpayers who fund our government, including fund our schools, can they afford more? And the answer that he came up with, and I think I agree with him on virtually every point in this matter, is that they cannot afford more taxes. You know, we had 14% of our budget this past year dedicated from monies from Washington and other one-time fixes. He's looking at this and saying, if we can't take more out of our taxpayers' pockets to fund things, mm -hmm. then we're going to have to reapply the way that we do our business. We can't rely upon one-time fixes from Washington and stimulus dollars and other things like that. So let's reapply those monies in a way that, are, that hopefully get our business economy flowing again and our jobs economy increasing. Ultimately, that's going to bring more revenue into the state because people are working. And jobs is job one for all of us. So I, I, I commend the governor on this first step. Now the legislature needs to get to work. Yeah. All right. Well, keep in touch with us because this bet. isn't going away anytime soon. No time soon. All but right. I think that we're we're on the right path to putting us on top of the best lists, not on the top of the worst lists. All right. We wish you well. State Senator John Prose joining us this morning. Thank you.